Okay, so this is the first video of the serial video about accounting principles and in this video, I would like to share with you guys a very basic concept of accounting as well as answer the question, what the hell is accounting? I mean, this is not a hard question. You guys can find the answer which are all over on Google. However, the concept and the explanation are really long and confusing for accounting beginner or people are able to study accounting in the future. Therefore, let's make accounting easy again. In my opinion, to answer the question, what is accounting? In the nutshell, accounting is mean how we do the number. This concept is very easy to remember and understand and I know when I'm talking to here, lots of people might want to ask what do you mean by the word to? However, don't worry, I will explain it right away. Okay, so do the number is here, that means an accountant or you can suppose that is a company has to identify, record and communicate the number as well as the economic events. And we will together find out what is the identification, recording, and communication. As we have been picking up on the previous slide, the accounting activity consists of three phrases that are identification, recording, and communication. So that identification is the first phrase of accounting activities. We understand shortly that identification of accounting activity is how an organization identifies the economic events. As a result, you can question how we can define which one is economic events and which one is not. So the economic events include all the events like the purchase of materials, sales of goods, acquisition of machinery, etc. etc. which are measured in monetary terms. For example, the sale of bachelor party services by IHA company why the particular party services is an economic event because that is a sale of the IHJ company to a particular person and it is measured by monetary terms that means a person has to be paid for that services right the next phrase of accounting activity is recording we can describe recording that is how an organization records the history of their financial activities as well as the business events systematically and chronologically. For example, after we define the sale of bachelor party services by IH company, which is an economic event, then we will record, classify, and summarize the invoice and receipt into a journal entry. When I'm talking to you here, you gonna ask me like, what is the journal entry? Basically, the journal entry is the process of holding or registering certain economic or non-economic transactions of an organization. However, in this video, I'm not able to deep dive into the journal entry. So stay tuned to the next video, okay? The final phrase of accounting activity is uh, communication. So communication, which is how an organization prepares accounting reports and financial reports though has been called financial statement. It helps organization manipulating, analyzing, and interpreting for investor as well as customer. For example, after doing the record, we will have a list that has been keeping on the history of the sale of bachelor party services by IH company in a particular span time. We can collect those statistics to prepare for financial statement. You guys can ask me like, what is a financial statement? So basically, the financial statements are public documents that reflect the company's corporate practice and financial reports. And again, I will deep dive into the financial statement into another video, okay? The question, what kinds of benefits that accounting data brings out? With this question, there are tons of answers for this question on Google. However, in general, the accounting data brings out what is happening in an organization financially, generally, and especially. And the accounting data that users need depends upon the kinds of decisions they make. We will dig into it in the next slide, okay? There are two broad groups of users who have been using the accounting data. It is internal users and external users. Now, we jump into the internal users. They are mostly being inside of an organization. 
who plans, organize, and run a business. For example, like financial director, company officers, and production supervisor, etc., etc. In operating a company, they have to answer a lot of questions like: Is there cash sufficient to provide for the stockholders, or suit the company raise the product price to maximize profits? So to respond to this question, internal user really need detailed information on a timely basis. That is the reason for managerial accounting has been born to provide internal users an internal reports that help them make decision about their company. For example, the IT company needs detailed reports about total sale last quarter in 2020 and the forecast for the sale of bachelor party services for the next quarter in 2021. Afterward, they can base on that to raise or lower their prices, which will be appropriate for users' income as well as maximize the company's revenue. Finally, we move on to external user. If the internal users were mostly inside of a company, then the external user would be outside. They are normal people or a contrasting organization who wanted to know about financial information of the company that they have been interested in. For example, investor, creditor, supplier, and customer. They have been using the accounting information to evaluate the risk of granting credits or lending money. This is the reason a financial accounting has been born for. It provides external users, economists, and financial information, and the needs of external users vary significantly. For example, Taxing agencies like the Internal Revenue Service want to know how they agree with tax regulations. And customers are eager to see how a business like IH company can continue to respect promises of bachelor party services, right? So, this is a very easy problem for our revision. So this is just a two four question, so we're gonna finish this together. Okay, so the first is identification, recording, and communication are the three stage of accounting process, which is true or false. Let's see the answer. The answer is true, right? Because accounting is mean how we do the number. We can extend from that. It means the company has to identify, record, and communicate the number as well as the economist events. Okay. The second is uh, managerial accounting activity belong to external users, which is true or false. Let's see the answer. The answer is full, right? Because following what our internal users propose using accounting data, we can get that managerial accounting is belong to internal users. Okay? The third is accountants shall prepare but not analyze financial record, which is true or false. Let's see the answer. The answer is full, right? Because an accounting role, we have to prepare, analyze, and record the economic event chronologically following the concept of what the hell is accounting. The fourth is investor and business officers are the external customers, which is true. And the answer is four, right? Because there was a little bit of misunderstood about external users because business officers are not being on external users. The fifth is the recording of accounting is how an organization records their history of their financial activity as well as business event randomly, which is true or false. Let's see the answer. The answer is false, right? Because there was a very small detail which was wrong, that is the economic events are recorded randomly. It has to be recorded chronologically, okay? Finally, we arrive at the summary section. I will graph everything up that we have been talking so far in this video. First, what the hell is counting? That is how we do the number. And we can extend the theory from that concept. That is, we uh, identify, record, and communicate the economic event. The second is the internal user, external user, and their companions is managerial accounting and financial accounting separately. Managerial accounting and financial accounting are the activities that internal users and external users have been using. So this is all for this video and the next video will be about ethics, principle and assumption in accounting. So tell me if you like it and sub if you love it and see you in the next video. Peace.